round three with the Alberta Jet Boat Elk Hunt. Let's see if we can get another bull. <laughs> Alright guys, if you've been following this series of videos, you know that we got ourselves a bull last week and we're going to try and get ourselves another one this week. We just got here Wednesday night about 6.30. We got about an hour and a half of light left so we're going to boot her and see if we can't get in a quick little hunt this evening and uh, maybe we'll have some luck. Stay tuned. Have you ever asked yourself why you do this? Hunting? Why? In all actuality, the table fare is far from cheap when you consider the cost of fuel, tags, and equipment. Maybe it's your love for the outdoors, no matter the outcome, like myself. Maybe it's time spent with friends and family. Great evening of day one. Didn't see much, some tracks, whatnot. We moved upstream a little bit, and we're gonna try out this here little flat and uh, see what we get. No calls, no action, bunch of tracks. Let's see what happens. All right, let's head out, see if we can get some bulls to call or show up, give us a shot. Let's do it. day two here we moved to this little spot we're gonna give it a go we haven't been here before but we're gonna walk like a mile down the beach you can see that that far piece there that's actually on the other side of the river but we're gonna walk out about that far and then uh, work our way back hopefully there is something that needs to get shot <laughs> Okay, I'll admit it, I'm guilty of putting too much pressure on myself for a successful hunt, meaning the harvesting of the target animal. I watched Jerry Maguire the other night. Yeah, actually I watched Jerry Maguire, and it actually inspired me to get back to why I started hunting. And it was the excitement of the hunt and getting outdoors and experiencing all it has to offer. I consider this hunt a successful hunt, after all. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> we uh, didn't get no elk, seen a bunch of tracks. Nothing much going on, it's obvious. It's kind of late in the season here, going into October. Chances of hearing a call is probably gonna be not so good, but whatever, we'll keep giving her a go. Maybe we'll hit the second rut. Maybe we'll see one, have some action, get to shooting. But for now, I'm gonna cook me some hamburgers. Got my Swiss cheese, my buns, and my bacon. 
Got the barbecue going. Woo wee. Got some burgers going on there. Flip them, throw the bacon on there, pre-cooked bacon. Throw it on there, warm it up. It's gonna make a great burger. We get a bull and a cow and a calf moose right up here. Check it out. All right, the evening of day three, I um, ended up, I'm going up this way uh, to look for a deer to shoot maybe, and to do a little scouting. And Sonny is way down there. He's going to a spot. Uh, we found a bunch of fresh elk tracks. He's gonna go sit that beach and hopefully a bull and a bunch of cows will come out to it at night and he can get a shot. And uh, I mean, I figured it's kind of no point in both of us sitting in one spot watching the same beach. I may as well split off and go do a little scouting, if nothing else, we'll see if I can find a deer to shoot. And uh, maybe I can find some elk for us to hit tomorrow morning or something. So stay tuned, I'll show you where we're at here. Down there's my boat. And way off the far point is where our other boat is and our camp is and Sonny's heading around that point uh, off to the south. Alright, I found this spot on the satellite imagery and I just, part of the reason I come up here is I wanted to check out what it was. It was like a real dark spot on the satellite imagery and it's like a little hole in the bush it's a little meadow and it looks like it's wet sometimes and there's definitely beds around here probably a moose spot but uh, I could certainly see some elk being in here too but I would definitely say moose have a look so in amongst all this trees and this fairly kind of a steep cliff right here we got this little little oasis here, this little meadow. A couple of good trails coming into it. Some moose poop around. Some old beds. And it's not real wet. Not right now, anyhow. But there's definitely a bunch of beds around here. Probably a moose living in here at some point. Let's carry on. There's another spot I want to check out. I made it to the top of this big open hillside. I wanted to have a look at it, see what kind of elk sign and whatnot was here. And there's some trails, but it's it's not regular at all. There's really no smashed up trees. I don't see a whole lot of elk sign. I don't think at this point in the game there's any point in wasting any time up here. So I'm gonna just get to the end of this open hillside, have a look a little bit more. Then I'll probably circle down low into the bush and head back to the boat. I don't think there's any point in wasting much time here. Oh, there's a water hole up in here. Let's have a look. Maybe it might be like a wallow or a little spring-fed 
water source or something. Doesn't look like much of anything has been visiting or rooting around in there at all or anything. Maybe come and get water there. That's about it. See what I see here. I believe we have a moose standing down here. would have been a bull elk. You could easily get a shot at him. Maybe I'll see a nice white tailed buck yet. Man. What a beauty trail to walk this ridge trail. Here. Walk this ridge trail. Do some cow calling, some bugling. Wow, that's awesome. I bet a guy can get a bull out of here. Or a moose tag. I'm gonna start drawing my moose tag in here. You've seen a bunch of moose already. edge of this ridge overlooking this river bottom awesome probably no luck today but now I know it for next year I'll get it. seeing some gale force winds out here. Middle of day four here, and we moved to the spot that I shot mine a couple weeks back. And we're gonna try and hunt here tonight, but we have quite the wind. Hold on to your head, Fred. It's so windy out that on our run here to this other location, it actually popped the sides of the inside of the uh, cubby here on the boat popped it free and it, his tent or his sleeping bag actually popped out the side there and got wet. So we're trying to dry the thing off and the wind keeps trying to blow the darn sleeping bag off our drying pole out there. <laughs> Man, it's windy. Well, here we are, evening of day five and we're just gonna sit this meadow here where I shot mine seen some white tails here last time. Maybe a white tail buck will come out. The sun is way down the field and he's hoping that a bull is going to come out. And this wind hasn't stopped. It's still pretty darn windy. Hopefully it's going to taper off to the last half hour blight or something like that. I don't imagine much will move in this wind, but let's see what happens. All right, morning at day five. Let's go for a little walk.
Well, haven't seen nothing yet, and it's a brisk one out here this morning. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> Get a little bit of ice. Real thin little layer of ice. Whew. She's a brisk one. I gotta keep moving. If you made it this far into the video, have a look at this place. I can think of no other place I'd rather be than on the hunt this time of year. Beautiful. Get outdoors, people, and enjoy. on its way when the beaver are starting to stockpile their food for the winter. Been seeing this lots lately. Trail brush being drugged down the beach, down these houses. She's on its way, she's getting brisk out. Beaver, he's been busy. Dragging brush all over through here. Gonna have some good eats this winter. Willows, and some poplar. He should be okay. Day six, <laughs> woke up to rain, and we pretty well said, nope, we're not going hunting. So, got the boats fired up, heading back to the trucks, heading home. It was our last hunt anyhow this morning. So, it's the way she goes. Sometimes, you just don't get what you're after. We did see lots of moose, and a couple deer and whatnot and had a great camping trip. <laughs> so if you guys are liking this sort of content, go ahead, subscribe, share, like these videos, hit the bell to be notified, give me a thumbs up, whatever. Catch you guys on the next video.